feeling of independence. Giving people that feeling of independence and mobility is a need Garrett Brown has been wanting to fulfill from his Westchester office for the last decade. And the zine is giving me that back to me. It's been a journey, a wonderful journey. I have a habit, I guess, of looking at and detecting stuff that's missing. Garrett didn't feel walkers or wheelchairs filled that missing hole. Inspired by his own parents, the Hall of Fame inventor of Steadicam created uh, the Zine. Does all the lifting. An improved wheelchair that allows people to safely stand. A way to get around, which is arguably faster and arguably safer than walkers, because you can coast and it it has these very special casters so that when you're going straight, it tracks beautifully. But you can go sideways if you're, you know, cooking in your kitchen or doing something. You can spin in place in an elevator and go back out. It's for anyone struggling to walk due to age, injury, or disease. Still a newer invention, Garrett's team really put their all into this product during the pandemic pause. Awareness is rapidly spreading. Last month, the zine even made its way to the Vatican. I have delivered the first one in Europe to Pope Francis, who has knee issues. Hopefully, he'll have some use out of it. From the Pope to everyday families, a mother surprising her son at his wedding for a first dance with the help of her zine. Testimonials like this one, making all the hard work worth it. I wish I could speak yeah. that story to my dad and my mother. Right now, a zine runs for about $3,800, and there are discounts that could also apply. But still, keep in mind, this is a relatively new invention. The inventor here saying, as it reaches mass production, the cost to you should go down. I'm Francis Wang, NBC 10 News.